Hello everyone, we are exceptional in this video. Our topic is colors. Colors are used by name or specific value format by using specific color values. We can change the background and foreground of the element. So first one is RGB property takes three values for red, green and blue. In RGB, all the colors are obtained by using these three colors so open this website and drag the bar for black color for white color millions of colors can be created by dragging these three bars let's implement RGB values okay so how to do it copy the code and background color paste it here save rgbaa add another parameter alpha for opacity zero for fully transparent with no background color one refers to not transparent at all so add extra parameter zero point three and save it you refresh it remember this point all the browsers not support RGB. Chrome is not supported but if we add normalized CSS it can. Don't worry, in our upcoming lectures we will learn how to deal with this problem. 6 digits hexadecimal number for the representation of the color started with hash character. My recommendation is to use hexadecimal values for mate this code gives you perfect result okay values between 00 to ff 0 to 255 f a c it means that f repeated two times and a and c also repeated two times so copy this code and paste it here so look at here HSL value contains three parameters hue saturation and lightness hue is the color on the color wheel as you know these are the main colors combined together to get another color saturation means intensity of a color in simple word strength of a color the lightness of a color refers to how much light you want to give the color okay look at here if i change the value with 100 saturation intensity and look at here hundred percent save it and change the lightness with thirty percent and with hundred percent so what will be happen 70% HSL value add another parameter alpha for opacity so it is same as RGB you can also use the keyword blue green black for the color if I use the 
name like blue and save it so look at here at the end of this lecture I suggest you to select decent colors according to your combination if you are a good UX designer you can also open this website for the selection of color and select the combination play with this color wheel and copy these values and and save it so look at here also this is the very amazing website you can play with this website and change the color click here and copy it so save it and look at here so thank you for watching this video